my friend, hopefully you are doing great. So, um, in the video session, if you hear any voice around, the, uh, please ignore the program at home and you can hear some voice from my family members, okay? So, in the last session, uh, you know how to create a global wait time until the display um, screen and then you can interact with the rest of elements on the screen, right? So in this video, we are going to talk about very important concept in page object. That is how you inherit a part of form or a part of page object in your page object and you can reuse it. So that means let's go back to the screen and I can explain for you easier. So let's see on the login screen, we have email, password, and the login button. After I click on the side up here, we have something like the uh, email, password, confirm password, and sign up. So what's the difference? The difference that see uh, on the login, we have a login button. In the sign up, we have the confirm password text field and the sign up button. So, and the thing that is the same on two screens, that the, the credential form includes email, password. So that means we can create this part in the common path and we can reuse for a power of uh, pay object on the login and on the side up here, you see login and side up. And on the page, on this page, let me see, mm, we have Login, we have sign up. So this is the whole pay object. It's not included this navigation bar. Okay. So this is the whole page object. We have login screen. We have sign up screen, and then we have something that is not belong to power of them. That's it. The login button here, and the sign up button. Let's see, because I'm thinking that we need a page object, a, a parent page object, and then we can reuse something like that. But okay, just keep it simple first. For the first step that I am going to reduce the credential form first in the login and sign up, okay? And then in the next level, maybe we will create a bigger uh, screen page object later. So let's get stuck. So here in the account folder, uh, you need to create something like a uh, credential form, like create a new JavaScript file with the name credential, credential form, enter here. And we are going to create a class with the name credential form here. And you do, Everything the same as a simple page object, but a very important thing that this form is going to be used in another page object. We are not going to use it directly like a page object. So we export not an instant, but we are going to export a class. Okay, it's very important. Okay, you need to make sure that you are not going to export an instant. Because if you export an instance, you cannot inherit in another class. It's very important. So export the for in this case, I'm, I'm exporting a credential from this a class. And you see in the page object, we are going to export by using a, a new keyword here. That means it will create an instance for us, okay? So, Let's see what in the credential form we can reuse. The email text field and the password text field here, just copy and paste to the uh, credential form. <clears throat> and then we view uh, have a global weight. Do we need a global weight? Let's go back to our lab application. For example, I click here. Mm, I don't think we need a global weight in this case, right? Because um, 
it's very fast here and we probably don't need it at all and we already have uh, we are going to reduce the global weight here so that's enough we don't need to have a global weight on the credential form because if you weigh too much that make your testing maybe you know um, it's not fast as you as you wish okay so just return the field return the element field from here copy from the login base object here and copy here right and now let's see uh, we are going to reduce the credential form so let's create a, a new pay object mm, let me see do we need to create a new pay object no because maybe um, the short cost may be longer and that is not necessary mm. okay let's reduce this login okay and try to delete the email and password here and then we delete the email password gesture here right and then what we are going to do that we copy the global weight here and we put here we need to import the credential form before uh, using it so we import credential form and the IDE is now help me to import it but it's very easy here import credential form you can name any anything you can name anything but you make sure that you import it from the correct path. Here is in the same folder. So you see dot slash. So that means same folder, credential form. And as I told you before, you don't need to supply the extension for this file because it's already knew that you are importing a JS file. So, and here you give the keyword extend to inherit from the form. Yeah, extend the credential form. So now, because you you extend the credential form, so okay, let's see what is here. Oh yeah, because we don't have a, we don't have a email test field here. So let's copy this one, and then we go back to credential form here, and then we put here. So that means we can can reduce this function when we call the login base because we are now inherit by the extend keyword, right? So let's create another test script to make sure that it work. So create another test script should be test k zero zero three. Um, we call it a inherit turn page or test right and we create a new test that that that's just here that's the login function or account function and create a new test case with the keyword it here insert it should um should you um should you inherit it pay your test successfully you can name anything you as you want okay so now before before using any page object you need to import it so import and the name that's your login page you can name anything as you want okay from um page object and the login uh, should be account and the login here yeah. uh, it's not this one should be login and then you call login pay dot way to screen display you see you are using this method not on this pay object but from the parent class that is credential from so when you call it login base way to screen display is okay right and then login page we 
uh, email test field that says value and the value is doe something like that and then the password field we set everything dot 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 and then finally we log in page and then we click um lock in button and click here so you see three of uh, three three those methods if from the if from the uh credential form it's not from the login page object form so only the login button method is from the login page object form so we can reduce in horizon uh, part of um, order uh, page object in our page object but you need to i need to remind you again because you you may forget about that so for the page object that you are not going to use it directly but you are going uh, to be used at a, a super class somewhere you need to export at uh, a class not an instance so for say uh, like a convention in your team maybe you say that i need to export all of the page object at class not um, not an instance so you can do something like that so you export before logging here but the thing here you need to you see it's now an instance so we face some error so to fix that you uh, create something like login base and login base you are going to create a new instance right uh, let login base equal new login page here yeah, and you can use yeah that should be the same right should be the same here because you are not go uh because you did not um export an instance so what you are going to do that you create a new instance and, and you can use it but let me revert to the old one and here i export uh, an instant check new login here okay try to run this test script now uh, to see it's still working okay uh, but we need to copy something here because i did not create the page object for this block so just temporarily reuse it okay as long as you understand about the concept and you can construct a page object yourself and you can do it in your project that's okay okay and let me stop the appion server on the property floor 4723 let's go back to the tech configuration file here and try to replace with this that script file refresh the rename and then i copy it and then i can replace you yeah right okay and now nbm test and specify the tech configuration file enter technically it should work so it now try to kill the application and try to relaunch the the application home page home screen So you see everything is now okay. You see. So uh, just a summary um, for something that is uh, happen commonly on some screen. You should create something like a common part, and you reduce it in other places. Okay, because you you don't need to replace yourself. Uh, we have something like. Um, um DRY that means don't repeat yourself it's a very uh, good concept in programming so if you see something that you can reduce create a, a part of a bit and then you export the a class then you reduce it in another page object by using the extend keyword here and that means you can do all of the get 
to access to the file element on the screen before interacting with it. So keep practicing and keep learning. See you in the next lesson.